Hello everyone, I'm Noya Kitch. If you want to know more about Russia and you understand my English, please welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss what is the common between Biden, Navalny and Tikhanovsky. Spoiler, they are financed from the same source. Yeah. Prove it, Noya. Let's begin from uh, my side, because I absolutely don't know any American system. And for today I have uh, impression that the most difficult systems were produced to screen really important things. Let's begin with Navalny, because uh, it's a famous story and very visible. If you know about Russia a bit, uh, I'm sure that you saw this investigation, where Navalny explains that he was poisoned by Novichok. Maybe you saw my previous video about Navalny, when, where I explained that why a lot of Russians don't believe to this story. And for today, you know that by the poll of Levada Center, and that is one of the most uh, trustful uh, poll centers in Russia, um, 55 percent of uh, Russians they don't believe to this story. How come? I can tell you that a lot of exp experts, and it's not only experts who, who work on first channel, uh, a lot of them it's really independent experts whom we can trust, uh, they say certain things. First they say that FSB agent will never discuss these topics uh, by phone, it's just absolutely impossible ever. And all of them, they say that when they just saw this video, what they say, we don't buy it. After that, they say, uh, uh, some of them, they say, how is possible that this guy who followed to Navalny during, I don't know, 10 years or 5 years, he, he can't recognize his voice, because all over the Russia, we know his voice. How is possible to not recognize Navalny? After that, there are these people uh, like me. I investigated a lot of small bloggers, because I have impression that for now, more or less seeds of truth you can find only uh, on uh, small articles on Facebook, on different small blogs bloggers like me with 2,000 of uh, subscribers, I don't know, different small notes in uh, Twitter, etc. I have impression that for now on big media, on big channels and on uh, by opinion of uh, big experts and bloggers, it's only any bullshit. What I noted uh, in this uh, video of investigation of Navalny that I didn't like. In very beginning, and it's not only me, another exactly women who noticed that, because we can read emotions very easily, a lot of women, uh, they didn't like this smile, because we can see immediately that this guy, he expects, he knew what will happen now. Ну и кроме того, сейчас вы узнаете, почему президент Путин много думает, извините, о моих трусах. Константин. Алло, Константин Борисович. Здрасте, меня зовут Устинов Максим Сергеевич. He is bad actor, we see this smile, and after that, pff, we just can't trust to any video at all. After that, what I didn't like, because, I don't know, I work with video, I'm not any cinema master, I, anyway, I hate. Moreover, I don't like any cine cinema, I don't watch any movies, etc. But what I can see is that this camera, how this camera moves, I can see that the, that was installation, that this video was prepared. It's not any occasional video. You want some more details, some more proofs. So if you watch this video completely, I'm not sure that you watch this video, that, that you watch full video, but I watch it full video. And if you watch it completely, you see immediately how this yet you can't prove it, but you feel this, because when you watch adult movies, you can't recognize that these, these people, they are only actors, and that a woman doesn't have real pleasure, you just know that. The same with this video, I just see that this this is theater and the show, and uh, details that I never forget. So this guy in the end, uh, he says that uh, uh, he is kind of cleaner, and <laughs> he says very strange things. He said, okay, I clean uh, his uh, panties, and after that, on pants, 
uh, the pants is dark blue that is why you can't see this uh, uh, spots uh, very well I just can't imagine that uh, different uh, laboratories of the world investigated uh, some uh, tracks uh, of the poison the, I don't know they did the different uh, analysis and exams uh, with uh, they use different laboratories but in fact <laughs> he, want, he wants to say that if the pants are not dark blue I don't know they are red or, or yellow you can see the spots the tracks of the poison on the fabric but I'm sure that your media especially in Europe as I understand in USA you are more or less aware about all this shit that happened in media now in official and not official media now but I have impression that Europeans they absolutely blind they just believe in their media and when you talk with the Europeans they say no our media say only true it's there only in Russia or in USA you have different stu stupid newspapers and TV channels but in Europe no our media are absolutely not corrupted and absolutely not biased they say only truth okay now I will tell you the story with uh, Lyubov Sobol maybe you heard the people who follow the news of Navalny the news the story of Lyubov Sobol and how they was presented in your free media it was presented like Lyubov Sobol uh, called the door uh, of one of uh, suspected and after that she was arrested oh my god how it's possible to arrest the woman uh, just because she called to the in the door but if you investigate more the story you will investigate that she what she did in fact she and tried to the flat next door to the uh, neighbors of this uh, sus suspected it was uh, part of his family his mother lives here so what she did together with the guy who deliver delivered uh, pizza the food she cheated to the delivery guy she explained it to him that she is from a committee of control of consumption of food or something like that she really and tried to the flat of uh, mother of this suspected she did different photo and video inside she walk it in certain rooms and after that she left and of course uh, she was arrested after that so we so if you see full version complete version you have absolutely another point of view on the situation I'm so glad what happened now in USA because at last I see these people on Facebook who, who say absolutely the same what I saw in Belarus because when you're inside the country and you just open some news and uh, you just can't believe what you see the same happened with me when uh, this uh, revolution in Belarus began I just opened the news and you know when you are inside the country and you have some feelings and intuition and you just read the news and you just can't believe in that and you say I don't buy it and that is what happened now on in Facebook I see uh, a lot of posts uh, of uh, Americans who say the same they just say I just open the news I watch this video I see the pics so, and something happened in my head I just can't trust it I don't believe it I don't buy it what we see now how our society is split uh, the same happened in Belarus in Russia in uh, USA now we can see that half of people they believe in some in certain media and second half they just believe in another media and there are some small teen part of people who don't believe to any shit and we just see how this is yet a boss of all media now they just use their power to produce their ideas so now in our countries we have a kind of first channel we call it vegetarian cow or first channel doesn't matter it's a television because all our television more or less depends to the same group of Kremlin and after that there are so called I call them open media that is the media that is a big group of media who belongs to Khodorkovsky more or less in Belarus there was official first Belarusian channel and after that there are another group of uh, media that belongs to different European media at the time of uh, Belarusian revolution they were mute yes <laughs> Belarusian mute uh, they were um, uh, Euro radio and uh, radio free Europe that call like that and if you investigate what is the radio free Europe you will know that it's financed uh, by American Congress a few days ago one of uh, former uh, former employers of this radio published uh, their article about 
inside censorship, inside of this media, he explains that, that he worked in different uh, in different media, uh, among them uh, t Russian TV, this uh, corrupted and absolutely propagandist uh, TV, and he says that exactly this Radio Free Europe is the most censored. Uh, radio. They say that uh, when you work there, you don't have any free mind. You can't say anything good about Putin. You have to lie. You have to absolutely to follow their uh, line. The guy, he, his name is Alexander Arlov. I'm sure that you can find his interview uh, on your language. You will be impressed how he explained uh, that uh, absolutely everything is absolutely under control even his draft when he prepared his article all the drafts are under control how it's happened and who needs it you know i don't think that one media is better than another i have impression that both of them they just follow their own interests and uh, what how it's useful for government and for putin i don't know for your president because it's so cool to fight with uh, small enemies who just publish uh, different news in your country you know it looks like it looks for me uh, like uh, stupid wars of celebrities in Instagram you know like uh, Kardashian fights with I don't know with another star I don't follow all this uh, Kardashian uh, news and celebrities news I don't know but sometimes uh, I see that they make different fights in Instagram so it's so cool for Putin to fight with with Navalny it's so easy it's much more, more easily then produce different useful uh, laws and orders uh, because like that you can explain all your problems with this uh, inside uh, uh, enemies uh, so and for Navalny it's very useful too because you, when you are a victim uh, everybody supports uh, you you became more popular but i can tell that for today navalny f rating of navalny fall down at all even if you read in your newspapers that it's not true i can tell you that all this story with investigation yes he failed he failed a lot with this story and if you didn't notice that there were no any demonstration manifestation after this story nobody supported navalny nobody invite any people because he he his political uh, career in Russia dead, but not completely, because uh, you know what is written in Wikipedia, that is come true. And if, if it will be, because now we discuss a lot that maybe in Russia we see so-called transfer of power. It means uh, that uh, uh, when the uh, reputation of uh, Putin became absolutely disgusting, we can replace Putin to another person yes to another face and that could be Navalny too because after that you present him like he's a victim after that in uh, on first channel and in official media you just write the articles that everybody support Navalny and in many many years our kids and Strasse will read these archives <laughs> we can say that <sighs> the history listen in russia russian history is absolutely bullshit i'm sure that Amer uh, yes american history is bullshit too yes so why why you can't control uh, navalny and uh, at the necessary moment you just replace one person on another and after that navalny will explain that before putin destroyed everything that is why now our country i that is why now i need more power more money to get everything back so so you understand uh, how how elite can use uh, different uh, people just to provide their ideas all this media absolutely not trustful for me anymore because i understand for example kardashian for example she say oh my husband uh, dropped me and after that uh, she, she shows the tears what she has in, in conclusions in conclusion everybody support her she sell more advertising and she has more subscribers everything is usually for that what happened uh, with uh, with uh, trump and all this uh viking guys these actors yes they discuss everybody because i don't know who are these vikings maybe they are actors but maybe there are certain steps manipulation maybe trump send actors to looks like he is set, set it up
the same with Putin, you know, because you now after this story with Navalny, rating of Putin increased because uh, after that uh, Putin looks like he was set it up uh, by Navalny and it's visible. I hope this video was interesting for you. Thumbs up and subscribe on my channel and different Instagram and uh, or Facebook. Follow my news. I publish uh, uh, certain news uh, there and pics uh, too and different posts too.